Hello everyone and welcome to new English lessons for this week. In our, new, in our English lessons this week, we are going to focus on two sounds. We have the first one, which is s, s for s, snake. S, the snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. That's one. And the second sound we are going to focus on this week is a, a, a for. What is this? Apple. That's right. A, a, apple. So we are going to focus on two sounds. S and a, a. Are you ready? Here we go. So let's take one at a time. I'm going to start first with s, s for snake. And here we have some words that begin with the sound s. s. We have s, s, snake, s, s, snake, s, s, sun. Sun, s snail, s snail, s s sad, sad. All these words begin with the sound s, s. And this is how we write the letter. We have first line second line and third line we have three lines top middle and bottom line the middle one we can also call it broken line so i'm going to start from the middle line and i'm going to go all the way around and around and down to the bottom line s -s -s. here you go excellent job always start the letter s from the middle line because we are talking about the lowercase letter s, s. here you go middle line around and around and down to the bottom line around and around to the bottom line s, s. this is the sound s this is the letter s that makes the sound s, s and like i mentioned before we have this week we have we are going to focus on two different sounds the second one is a a a what is it a a ant and here are some words that begin with the sound a ant a a ant a a apple a a apple a a arrow arrow a a axe axe that's right so we have ant arrow apple axe a and here is how we write the letter. And I'm going to start again from the middle line. And I'm going to go all the way around, back up and down. All the way around, back up and down. All the way around, back up and down. All the way around, down to the bottom line, back up, middle line, and down. All the way around, up and down. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Good job. I hope you enjoyed the lesson for today. And can't wait to have in the classroom and to practice more. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.